Hello YouTube. Fyodor Filipovich Konyhov is an interesting person and keen observer. A fearless traveler who managed to circumnavigate the world five times, cross the Atlantic Ocean on a rowing boat, climb the highest peaks of the world. The unique achievements of this outstanding personality can be enumerated for a long time. Fyodor Konyhov told about the mysterious inhabitants of the oceans when he spoke to the Russian media. Who did the traveler meet? Who did he encounter? And it's not so much about traveling as about the creatures that Fyodor Konyhov has seen personally and doesn't doubt their existence at all. Back in 1998, uh, in an interview with Russian media, he told about a strange encounter in the waters of the northern hemisphere of the globe. Fyodor Filipovich Konyhov with his brother and two like-minded people, so four altogether, decided to sail to the Arctic. During this journey, Konyhov noticed bathing uh, females with dark green hair. When they observed a boat approaching them, the females dived under the water and did not show up again. This case was the first in Fyodor's career when he encountered something inexplicable. Whether they were mermaids or another kind of humanoid creatures living in the ocean, the traveler just doesn't know. However, I'm inclined to believe that they were mermaids. During his travels, Fyodor learned to distinguish between them. Mermaids are reportedly timid creatures. You can meet them only if you notice them first. They don't make contact with people, according to some researchers. When Konyhov was in Malta, he heard a legend that almost 3.5, three and a half thousand years ago, people hunted mermaids en masse and destroyed them, annihilated them. Uh, there were even attempts to enslave them to mine pearls. After a bloody and brutal massacre, representatives of the aquatic civilization retreated from the coasts, and since then, have been trying not to catch humans' eyes. In my future videos, I'll tell you the legends of the Slavic female pearl hunters, who were considered to be mermaids. But back to Konyhov. Sirens are cruel and vengeful creatures, as some researchers believe. No one knows if they were like that initially or became like that after a monstrous attitude towards themselves from the humans. Opinions differ here. But one thing can be said, sirens are able to deafen a person with their cry, um, after which they drown, the humans do. In total, during his travels, Fyodor Filipovich Konyhov encountered sirens twice, and mermaids he encountered more times. The second encounter with dangerous creatures of the oceans took place in 2011. A terrible storm broke out. Uh, the traveler was on open waters and he had nowhere to go. <clears throat> Trying to stay afloat, he heard a rolling rumble. A huge wave was about to overtake Konyhov. Turning around, he saw that several women were chasing him among the waves. Due to the strong wind and the hum of the waves beating against each other, the cry of the sirens was almost impossible to make out. Most likely, the traveler believes, they expected that his boat would capsize and then they would attack the, him. That did not happen. Fyodor Konyhov resisted the elements and creatures that wanted to profit from the traveler. Twenty minutes later, the storm moved south and with it, the sirens. The fact is that in 2004, in the Atlantic Ocean, Fyodor Filipovich literally encountered sea beasts. These creatures had almost no hair on their heads, eyes like snakes with a vertical pupil, several rows of gill slits visible on the neck. <clears throat> But the most memorable thing was their scream, which was so piercing that Konyhov almost fainted. According to the men, they were no mermaids, but sirens. 
Fyodor Filipovich Konyhov shared his observations and impressions with the Crimean researcher Anatoly Tavrishesky. The latter, in his book, pointed out the details that he learned, including stories from the world-famous traveler. <clears throat> but, in my opinion, Konyhov's fame came not because of various fables, but because of his desire for exciting adventures. Therefore, it would be foolish to suspect him of fiction, and he is far from being the only one who believes in the existence of intelligence, intelligent civilization in the depths of the seas and oceans of our planet. Anatoly Tarasovich Tavrichesky is a member of the Russian Geographical Society, a former USSR um, researcher of the uh, undersea researcher, oceanologist. He worked as a sailor, as a navigator, and captain on ships of the Black Sea Auxiliary Fleet of the USSR, and then on various underwater vehicles and underwater, in, in the underwater laboratories, in the Sevastopol Experimental Design Bureau of Underwater Research, on the basis of this uh, Gidronat project. He participated in many scientific expeditions. He was a member of the Jacques Cousteau's team, published <coughs> in Russian, French, and, and um, Ukrainian magazines. In 2017, the 10th edition of the map of ships, vessels, and treasures sunk off the coast of Crimea uh, was published. Uh, although at that time it wasn't Ukraine anymore, it was controlled by Russia. <coughs> But in 2011, the map of, of the Crimea for extreme athletes, map of wonders and anomalous zones of the Crimea, and the book Legends of the Crimea was published in 2011. During his underwater career, he visited almost all regions of our planet. Um, fate also brought me together with the famous explorer of the seas and oceans, Jacques Cousteau, said Anatoly Tavrichesky. I was on his team during the expedition of the ship Calypso II. I wanted to lure the legendary Cousteau to us, to the Black Sea, to explore the strange volcano open at the bottom. But unfortunately, the grandiose ideas were not realized. Jacques died suddenly, so this page of history is as of mourning. Having retired at the age of 50, because the profession of an oceanologist, especially actively living in bathys cups, assumes a very early retirement for a well-deserved rest. The Crimean underwater researcher did not indulge in idleness and did not rest on well-deserved merits. The Sevastopol underwater explorer also has a peculiar, for some people, hobby collecting facts and cases unexplained by academic science. For example, based on the collected photographs, video frames, and numerous eyewitness accounts, he published a small book dedicated uh, to the mysterious phenomenon from the field of cryptozoology, the so-called Black Sea Marine Serpent, or Sea Serpent, and disputes of the reality of the existence of this creature have been going on for decades. And you can also see my detailed video about this creature in my channel. And now, Anatoly believes in flying saucers and you, in the existence of UFOs, let's put it that way, because he had to witness an unusual case himself. It was in the late 1970s, as the oceanographer told local media. Uh, I was on the ship Cal-33, going from Poti to Sevastopol, it was my watch, the time was 2 o'clock in the morning, a beam of the port of Yalta. Suddenly a, la a target appears on the radar screen at a distance of 10 miles, which is clearly heading for a collision. I reverse the course, run out to the bridge and uh, observe at the height of several meters above the water an object in the shape of a disk with a diameter of 30 meters at high speed, more than 300 kilometers per hour, as the instrument is in, uh, instruments showed. This object flies completely silently towards the Medved mountain. Anatoly made a corresponding entry 
about the strange incident in the ship's log because it turns out the appearance of UFOs should be recorded by sailors according to the instructions of the secret notice of the navigator. Now, the instructions have been discussed in my videos about the Soviet military UFO research. You will find them in my channel and also new information about it at top secret Soviet UFO-USO research program called Setka initially. But in general, the Black Sea, according to Tavritsky, is not going through its best period. The ecology is catastrophically disrupted, he explains. The mussels have disappeared, which means that the sea has lost its natural lungs and filters. At the depth of 100 meters, there are magnificent examples of prehistoric civilization in the form of well-preserved stone settlements um, and a nightmarish layer of plastic bottles poisoning all living things. Um, and I will add, including mermaids, sirens, and the sea serpents, of course. So, I have more to tell you about the Black Sea itself and the very unusual contents down below, but uh, it's true. What we're doing to the oceans and seas and lakes of this planet is, is catastrophic. And uh, I am not sure how to change people's behavior and understanding because we're, li we're killing the planet that basically sustains our life. That's what I wanted to tell you about Fyodor Konohov and about um, his colleague uh, in Crimea, Tavrichesky. And I'll tell you more stories about the unusual underwater creatures as research in the former USSR Russia, Ukraine, and other parts of Eurasia. Thank you.